My husband is pregnant with our baby. I'm a seahorse dad and I'm going to carry this baby. The haters, they really just look at me and are, say how disgusting I am or that I'm grooming my children or that they feel bad for my children. Negative comments don't make me want to stop, they make me want to continue. I think when I do start chest feeding that there is a possibility of people coming up to me then. I started transitioning when I was 25. Before I started transitioning, I felt like I wasn't in my space. When I was eight, I told my mom that I think God messed up and gave me a boy's brain instead of a girl's brain. Uh, my name is Kristen. And my name is Ashley. And I am a seahorse dad. My pregnancy is going well. Pregnancy symptom wise, I have been feeling like it's not my body. It's not the body that I'm used to seeing. But I always remind myself that I am growing a human <laughs> and that you know, this body is working hard at growing a human. Uh, so we've been married for 10 years now. We've been together for 13. We met back in 2010. So we were best friends for almost a year before we got together. And then we kind of fell in love in between all of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are you guys doing in here? Are you playing with your Barbies? Cool. Can I play too? Cool. When I first met and started a relationship with Ashley, I identified as female. I came out as trans when I was 25. <laughs> Ashley, how do you feel when Kristen came out as trans? Um, I had a tough time in the beginning, personally, to get through, just because of my own identity and being a lesbian and then not really having that anymore, but we got through it. Read something one day that said, if it's worth it, you'll find a way, and if it's not, you'll find an excuse. And for me, that was kind of the turning point. I had to learn I'm not the only one transitioning. Like, she's transitioning into another relationship as well. Scarlett, how old are you? Can you show me how old you are? Yeah! Four. Good job. Good job. I don't think it was ever a question on who would carry our first child. I think I was still in my transition, so I was still working on transitioning and finding myself in that way. I was really excited about the idea of having a baby and bringing a baby into the world and being pregnant. As scary as it all is, it was something I was really excited for. So I was ready first, so I went first. <laughs> <laughs> we used a known donor. It's the same way we conceived for this baby as well. Where's the new baby gonna sleep? <laughs> <laughs> right there. That's where the baby's gonna sleep? I decided that I wanted to carry the next baby because I got to see how beautiful it was when Ashley carried Scarlett. And I was like, okay, I think I want to do this. <laughs> it was just my turn. I was ready this time. <laughs> when Scarlett gets older, we'll probably have to explain some things to her, but like we've explained a lot as she's grown up. Once I said I was pregnant and I was gonna give birth, she asked if no, Ashley came you. from grandpa. <laughs> so we had to explain no. Being able to tell Scarlett Ray, like, your dad is gonna give birth to this baby. A lot of people think it's confusing <laughs> or that I'm going to confuse her, but I don't think she's confused. I think her mind is just gonna be a little more open than most. <laughs> to conceive the current baby, I did stop taking testosterone for almost four years ago. It took a few years, actually, because we were trying on and off. When I found out, I was super excited. <laughs> It's exciting, but it's also scary because the first few weeks, there's a high probability that it's not going to take, especially being a trans man. Like you just, there's a lot of worry there. I'm a seahorse dad and I'm going to carry this baby and that's okay. You want to take some pictures for your Instagram? Sure. Hold your book. Yeah, big baby. I decided to start sharing my story on social media once we found out that Ashley was pregnant. I just wanted to share the story of being a transgender dad, but um, I have received a lot of judgment about being trans and pregnant. That's when I started getting the most hate. How do you deal with it? I deal with the nastiness by not, <laughs> by not answering most of it. The haters, they really just look at me and are, say how disgusting I am or that I'm grooming my children or that they feel bad for my children or that I'm not a father and I'll never be a father. Yeah, it's wild child abuse. Yeah, that one says degenerate. That's awful. What is wrong with people? This one says, I hope CPS takes away her children. Her referring to Kristen, who is not a, a she or a her. Oh, and men cannot get pregnant? That's cool. Clearly, we're here, so that's wrong. 
how I think disgusting the poor kids' lives already ruined. But they've never met us, and they've never met my kids, <laughs> and they never will. You're so strong, you'll do amazing. I wish you the best of luck. Well, that's really nice. Yeah, I'm glad we get a lot of those. The happy comments or positive comments make me feel good. The negative comments, I feel like people are just stuck in their own hate. Negative comments don't make me wanna stop, they make me wanna continue. One of the ways that I do respond is I'll make my own post, like, hi haters. <laughs> Thank you for boosting the algorithm. Thank you for boosting me so I can get spread more. I think it's important to put stuff on social media because I want other people like us to be able to see that we can have a happy, loving family and we can grow our family and we can do these things even if you don't see it all the time. I think when I do start chest feeding, there is a possibility of people coming up to me then mm. because then I will outwardly be doing something that makes people feel uncomfortable. So now a masculine <laughs> person with a beard <laughs> who's chest feeding a child is going to have a lot of ramification. But again, I don't, it's not anything that's going to scare me away from it. I need to feed my child. Me being a trans parent, a lot of the support has come from our families. For my family, they've always been extremely supportive. Hi, Mama. Hey, guys. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. My mom, she's got a heart of gold. She's just really supportive in general, and we're very lucky to have her. For every hate comment, there's her comments of how <laughs> how much she loves our family and how, how, what great parents we are. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see why everybody can be so hateful in the positivity and love that they bring to everybody. The first thing she said when I told her that I was pregnant was, can I do anything? What can I do? Can I help you? How can I help you? <laughs> when Ashley had her baby, I remember Chris just looking at Scarlett and I saw the twinkle in his eyes at that point. It was like, I know you're a guy, but I know, oh, you're wanting to have that same bond. <laughs> I was like, he's gonna wanna have a baby. I know it now. And to have the heart and the strength to do that, I commend him for, for doing that. And I hate for people to take that away when it brings such joy to people around them. Do you want some cheese? Sure. Maybe Scarlett will have some with me. Yeah, we'll she's see. probably hungry by now. Grandma made you some eggs. Grandma made you some eggs. Want some more eggs? Oh. What changes would you like to see to support pregnant trans people and their families? Um, just more inclusive language, just inclusivity all around for the future. I want to continue raising open-minded children and having a loving and supportive family and showing everybody that <laughs> just because it's not their normal doesn't mean it's not normal. After I give birth, I'm really looking forward to being able to sleep on my stomach again. <laughs> I also want to get another tattoo. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that was going to be one of them. Yeah. <laughs>